Hi, my name is Vera Steiger. I'm a digital PR strategist here at C3. I work as part of our international PR team and I mostly work with our German clients. So today I'm going to be sharing our top three tips for outreach in Germany. So my first tip would be make sure you use the right tone of voice. When you're outreaching in Germany, the general social protocol is to take a little bit more of a formal approach than in English speaking countries like the UK or the US. So when you're approaching a journalist, especially one that you haven't spoken to before, someone that you don't know, it's just common courtesy address them by last name. So, you know, dear Mr. X, dear Mrs. X, instead of just hi, and just sign off with, you know, like a kind regards or something like that. This is just really important because it's it shows, it's a sign of respect. It's really important to kind of be aware of these cultural nuances to make sure that when you approach them, you seem appropriate, you don't come across as rude or inappropriate and maybe even hinder that relationship to grow further. My second tip is translate your content. If you have the scope to do it in your team, always make sure that you do take the time to translate your content. This goes not just for Germany, but for any European market in our experience. Journalists are always a lot more you know, appreciative when you show that you've taken the time to kind of translate content into their language. It just helps you build that report and that understanding with them. And also it's a lot more easier for them to pick up your content straight away if it's in their language, because obviously not everyone speaks perfect English. Translation tools and you know AI tools like DeepL or Gemini have become really, really good. And we do use these in-house a lot. But nevertheless, if you have access to a native speaker, to a German speaker, you should always run it past them to proofread at the end just because those tools, even though they're good, they're not perfect. And, you know, sometimes it's easy to miss like little nuances or even just to make sure that you have the right formal tone of voice before you send it. My third tip is localize your outreach. So whenever you're outreaching, you want to make sure that the content you put out is suitable to the audience you're targeting. So in Germany, that means do some research, look at the media, what they're reporting on to make sure that you're talking about the right topics that they're interested in. Another really great way of localizing your content is to create campaigns with lots and lots of angles for regional outreach. So anything that you can break down by city or by state is really great and tends to perform really, really well. And then when you do have that data, also make sure to use it. So for example, if you have a campaign where Munich comes out on top of XYZ, make sure you use that to target specifically journalists from Munich, change your subject line to include Munich in the headline and so on, just to make sure that you go super targeted and that you have the broadest uh, possibilities of outreach. So these are our top three outreach tips in Germany. If you want to find out more, head on over to our website. We have lots more content around digital PR in Germany and in all kinds of other markets like the US, France and Italy. Um, or feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn.